This is Nell Foster, and today I'm going to be repotting a snake plant. This is one that came out of, my, out of my garden. I have them in the front of my garden. I just want to show you how tough they are, and the roots travel by, by rhizomes. This is actually an offshoot of, of a mother plant. It's actually growing in an area that's really dry. That's why it's looking that way. But I just want to tell you that this plant is really, really tough, unlike, uh, unlike an African violet or something that you have to be a little more careful about. I have potted some in my garden where I get them in a five gallon pot and the pot is totally cracked and the roots are coming out. Plant looks fine, it transplants just fine. So you don't have to be too, um, you, you don't have to handle them with kid gloves. So you can, uh, this one's probably gonna come out pretty easy because I just, I, I just got it from the grower like a month ago. So you ease it out of the pot, there it goes. You might have to cut the pot off if, if, it's, re if it's really pot bound, so don't be afraid of that. And you sort of loosen it up. You can see the roots right here. Oops, oh boy, it sure loosened up. So, so what I've done is I've put enough soil in the pot so that, it, oops, so some of it fell off. So I'm gonna put some more of the soil in here to, to raise it up because, because I want it up about half an inch above the pot because it's gonna sink down. So a little bit more here, soil here. There we go, that, that's gonna get it. And, and you, you can just hold it together. If it starts to fall apart, you can hold it together up here. And I love worm castings and compost. It's, a, it's, a, it's what I amend my plantings with. So I'm gonna go in and put a few handfuls of that around here before I go ahead and fill it in. And then I'm gonna go in and fill around so the plant will be supported in the pot. I'm just going to go around and I'm going to fill in with soil all, all the way around so, so it's nice and even up here. And it's very important you use a soil that drains really well. I have, have been working with plants for ages so I know how to keep them wet and dry so I'm just using a regular potting soil with this. If you tend to be heavy on the watering you might want to use half, half cactus mix, half potting soil because that's going to keep it drier. But it's really important that this drains very well because this plant can actually go about four weeks without water, no problem at all, and they like being on the dry side. So just make sure you don't use a heavy soil for it and, and keep it dry. So I'm going to go, um, I'm, I'm going to go around and I'm, and I'm going to fill the pot back in with soil. Mm -hmm. 